triumph. Oxford would tell you it means a great victory or achievement. But to the Romans, it meant something grander, spectacular. Hello, my name's Dan Bushmeyer, and today I'm going to show you the splendor of a Roman triumph. See, the Romans were very peculiar about triumphs. Any general of political ambition would seek out to pursue one. He'd be hailed as imperator from his troops, and then, with Senate's approval, he'll be allowed to cross the pomerium with his troops and be paraded, dressed in purple, ornate garbs, led by a chariot with four horses. Cicero describes in his letters to Atticus just the importance of this triumphance. Caesar has a very particular description of a triumph. In his book, Civil Wars, Caesar goes through and describes just how important the triumph was in starting the war itself. I can just envision it now. The rolling hills of grapevines, the blue sky ahead, birds calling. My mom used to tell me a bedtime story every night. Hic scribere. To a mysterious ruinous. And now, I shall tell you of a ruin that is quite mysterious, that being the ancient Roman triumph arch of Tiberius. The monument was erected in 16 AD, unprotected by Durex or Trojan, you see. It was built to celebrate a triumph so righteous, the, the return of three Aquilas back to Rome, thanks to Germanicus. Now, what exactly is Aquila? Could it be another ba brand of tequila? No, my booze little beagle. It's Latin for eagle. The Aquila has quite a meaning in the military region. It stood as a powerful symbol which represented le the legion. To this, it held as a Roman standard. They took the shape of flags, staffs, and banners. The eagles boosted morale for the Roman soldiers, perched way up high. That was until the Germans stole them away, back in the year of nine. This happened during the great reign of Augustus, and it was his appointed son to blame, Varus. During 9 CE, it was he who ruled over Germany, taking their land, their freedom, their underpants, and their money. Oh, how their dignity did molt. So Arminius led a revolt, and sadly, in the Battle of Tudoburg forest, the Aquilas were taken from the Roman storage. It was thanks to Varus that the Aquilas were lost in the German excitement. Oh, why, Augustus, why did you have to give so much power to this disappointment? Augustus Gloop, Augustus Gloop, the great big greedy nincompoop. The Roman guy was okay, though. It wasn't until the year 16 AD that the Aquilas were freed from Germany by none other, other than the great general Germanicus. With the Roman standards restored, everything was righteous. So to honor this victorious march, there was constructed the Tiberius Arch. This arch is located in the Forum Romanium, which nowadays has been reduced to crumbs, but like much of Italy, shall go down in infamy.